his 20 years as a GP, Dr Rangan Chatterjee has seen firsthand the positive impact that happiness can have on our physical health. But if you need a little bit of help lifting your spirits, he's joining us now with some surprisingly simple ways on, to boot, on how to boost your happiness. Now, uh, first of all, what is happiness? Yeah, I think it's a good question. If you, if you said happiness to 10 different people, I think they have 10 different interpretations. So I developed this model of happiness with a book called Core Happiness, and I want people to think of it like a three-legged stool, and you can work on each of these legs separately. And those three things are alignment, which is basically when the person who we really are inside and the person who we are being out there in the world are one and the same. Contentment, which is what are those things in life that make us feel calm or at peace? Um, and the third one is control. And it's not about controlling the world, it's about the, the little things you can do each day that give you that sense of control. And I think that's, that's really important at the moment because there's so much going on in the world that feels out of control. Yeah. We can actually do a few things each day that give us that sense of control, which makes us feel happier and, and, and more content. Is that control between your ears or between your four walls at home? That control is... It's going to be different for different people, but it's... Right. It's the sort of things that you do on a daily basis that, let's say for me, when I wake up in the morning, I have to have 20 minutes to myself. So I get up before my wife and kids, and I, if I have those 20 minutes where I sort of drink coffee by myself, I might do a bit of meditation, I might just read for a bit, I know that actually it doesn't matter what's going on in my workload, how many patients I have to see in the day, or whatever I may or may not see on the news, I've sort of grounded myself, given my son a sense of control. Right. Why do you think so many people feel so stressed these days and, and so unhappy? People can get into a real, you know, downward spiral and it's so hard to get out of. Yeah, I think this is a problem even two or three years ago, but I think the last two years have made it significantly worse because people feel like so much is going on in the world that they cannot control, right? Um, but what I think is really important, and one of the reasons I wrote the book, is to help people understand that happiness is a skill, right? It's a skill that you can develop and, and can practice once you know what to work on. Yeah. And, and as a GP, why did I write a book on happiness? It's because your happiness and your health is strongly, strongly connected. We know that people who feel happier and more content, they're actually way healthier. And there's a couple of reasons for that, but I think a, a really important reason is if you feel pretty good in your life, with what's going on, what you're doing at work, how you're spending your free time, you're less likely to engage in a lot of these kind of lifestyle behaviours that many of us are trying to stop, like comfort eating or drinking too much alcohol. A lot of the time, that's a compensation for how we're feeling. And the goal for, for writing this book was to show people that, hey, listen, there are simple things that you can do each day which will make a massive, massive difference. It's nice having a routine, isn't it? A routine that, that, that where you said you get up early in the morning, you have 20 minutes to yourself. I, I know this sounds weird, but I like going in my garage. Yeah. And I go into my garage and I have that 20 minutes where I just potter about, you know, with a fishing rod or one of my radio-controlled aeroplanes. I said that out loud, but never mind, we can't rewind <laughs> but, it. But, but, but that's really important, Vernon, because you've found what works for you, right? It doesn't matter what works yeah. for me or what works for you, JC, right? It, it, it's basically what works for you. So I like to do it first thing in the morning. Other people may go, well, that's not going to work for me. Fine, right? I've got this, this um, chapter in the book called Take a Daily Holiday, which I really, really like. And... The idea came from, one of my mates said that his boss had a counter on their desk, saying, only 66 days till I'm going to be in Florida, I'm going to be on a beach. I thought, that's interesting, isn't it, that some of us live our lives waiting and counting down until mm. we're on holiday. Then I thought, well, what is a holiday? Sure, it's sun, it's time away from home, whatever it might be, but I think a key thing holidays give us is perspective. They allow us to step outside of our life. You know, when you're on that plane, you automatically get that 30,000 foot view on the state of your life. And I think we should all take a daily holiday every day. That could be 15 minutes where you step outside your life. It could be a walk, journaling, uh, meditation. You know, on a nice spring day in the UK, sitting and having your cup of tea in the garden. I think one of the problems these days is we, we're consuming so much, right? So we get up, we go on our phones and we're consuming um, I don't know, Instagram. We're... Garbage. That's what it is. Rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff that means nothing. But even if it's good stuff, right, if you're constantly consuming, you never get a moment to actually sit with how you're actually feeling. And so in answer to your question, why are so many of us stressed and unhappy, mm. we're not spending any time alone with our thoughts. We're distracting ourselves with things like Instagram, booze, sugar, whatever those things. And I get it, but... Instant hits. Instant hits. You know, in the book, I, I call these things junk happiness habits. I'm not having yeah. to go with them, right? Yeah, We've all yeah. got junk happiness habits that we like to engage in. The problem is, is if we, we do them too often and for too long. So, you know, 
take a daily holiday each day is really important. Another simple one, right, is talking to strangers, Love right? That. Yeah, talking to, that's a part of your brain, right, called the, um, well, scientists call it the sociometer. And what it's doing, it's constantly scanning your external world for threats. So if you go into the coffee shop in the morning and you say hi to the barista, you know, have a chat with them, they smile back at you, you're sending a message to that part of your brain that, you know what, everything's okay, my world is safe. That helps you feel in control, which is one of the three legs of that core cool happiness tool. And I imagine you guys, you know, you're extroverts, you're TV presenters, you probably do this quite naturally, yeah. right? But a lot of people don't. And even if they start today by saying hi to the postman or hi to the delivery driver, that will change what's going on in your body. You will feel happier, you'll feel more content, and it's gonna to lead to better physical health as well. And you can see their reaction, the recipient's reaction of your conversation and your interaction, because they're, you know, it's like in America, when you walk in a shop in America and they go, hey, how are you doing? And then you turn around and go, yeah, I'm actually all right, thanks. They don't expect to reply. Yeah. Because, it, and they're like, oh, they said something, that's a bit weird. Yeah, so these simple things are, are, are very practical. I mean, everything in the book is free of charge, right? So I wanna make it as accessible as possible. But the other big thing I think that we get wrong, guys, is that we confuse happiness with success. Right, many of us think we're chasing. I'm gonna to have to interject you there because we've got to go to the local weather, which is a hard count, which means we've got to do it in about four seconds. <laughs> well, the book is available. Thank you very much for coming. Here's the weather wherever you are in the country. <laughs>